Hi everybody and welcome to my video introducing the Kodak Brownie number no. 2 Hawkeye 120 model C box camera. Uh, I gotta say of all the box cameras that I've, I've come across, which is a, a handful of them and, and done videos on, this was the most vexing to find information about. <laughs> it was very difficult to identify it and once I did, even more difficult to find anything that I, I considered reliable. Um, <clears throat> so it took a, a lot longer to put this together than I was really prepared to invest in it. At any rate, this is a box camera. It's a very simple, one of the original type of roll film cameras. Has no light meter, a single shutter speed, which is eh, around uh, 1 45th of a second. And uh, it's a simple meniscus lens, one glass lens between the film and the real world. The Model C was the first uh, and possibly the only Kodak Brownie with a single viewfinder right above. Did not have the second viewfinder for, for landscapes and that's because this was classified as a portrait camera so it didn't really need to have a landscape orientation window. The target market was entry level. It is a very simple early camera. They were inexpensive, even by their day's standards, to make and sell cardboard body, a little bit of metal inside for the assemblies and the springs, but, but by and large, inexpensive materials. It was made by Eastman Kodak from 1926 until 1934, and there were some design differences over the life that will help you if you don't own this one identify it could not find anything out that would let me estimate when this one was made it was made in rochester new york it was preceded by other box camera models and concurrent with lots and lots and lots of other box camera models and folding cameras that kodak produced and things like that and it was followed by myriad other Hawkeye models. <laughs> so Kodak produced box cameras by by the flock. I think that's probably the best way to put it. And uh, they just they just made many, many, many different ones. So if you've got your, your Kodak Brownie Hawkeye model C120, if you got this camera, take a look at it. We'll take a look at the different features and talk a little bit about them. So here's the camera's top. Normally there would be a handle that connected between these two lugs, but uh, you know, a lot of them, the, the, the leather handles decomposed or broken or lost. I've never actually seen an old box camera that has a leather handle in person, only in photos that are undated. So I don't really know how many, oh my God, there's a bug on it. So I don't really know how many of these actually still have their handles, if any. Here we have, a lock for the thing and the viewfinder. So on this side we have a lock. This is the second lock which helps to keep the camera's body uh, front attached to the body. This is the film advance knob. Here we have the shutter and each time you flip the lever it activates the shutter once. Camera's bottom has nothing but weird staining on mine. This side has nothing. The back has only the red window on it which allows you to count the frames as you take your photos. To get into the camera, slide that and slide that so that the pins are in the big, big areas, the big opening. And then you take it off camera and fiddle around with it until you get it open because it's impossible to do it on camera. And then through the magic of editing, everything works. There we go. Oh, come on, really? Oh yeah. You also have to pull out the film advance knob. There we go. And here we are inside of the camera. Remember to use Peptone prints. They are better. Um, at any rate, so here's the inside of the camera's back. There's not really a whole lot to see there. It's, it's in fact, it's empty. Okay, so to load film in this, the first thing you wanna do is go to the bottom of the camera. Even in the, in the bottom of the camera, you want to remember to use Peptone prints. And you take an empty film spool, ideally from the film you just shot, put it in the bottom of the camera. This is the take-up spool. And now, 
to illustrate that this camera, as I said, was cheaply made. These parts are metal. The rolling wheel guides are metal. That's cardboard. On many of the brownies, that was actual metal, but these were very, very inexpensive models. So we'll put that in correctly this time. There we go. So put the 120 film in, pull out the leader, wrap it around. Slide it in here. Slide it in. It's gonna come on. Oh, come on. All right, we'll take this out. We're gonna try this a slightly different way. Gonna roll it up one time. Making sure to get the paper aligned properly. There we go. Now, in an ideal world, this double arrow would be aligned approximately with this point, but it's okay to go a little bit beyond it. And now, come on. And now through the magic of editing, it's loaded. Once it's loaded, put that in place and you put that lock in place. And that keeps your camera from accidentally opening and exposing your film. I can't actually advance the film with the camera back open to show you what's going on. So you'll just have to look through the red window. There we go. And some arrows to let me know we're getting there. And some circles. And the number one. Now, this camera takes six by nine negatives. They are simply enormous negatives. If you've used uh, 35 millimeter film, you'll probably find you're fairly comfortable with it because six by nine is the same aspect ratio as 35 millimeter frames, standard 35 millimeter frames. Uh, and, and so it's very easy to just grab one of these and understand how to frame it well, how to frame an image. Once the film is loaded, you take a picture by looking through this little window up at the top and sighting your scene. And so you're gonna point it at the, sub, at the subject, whatever you wanna take a picture of. And you come down here to the shutter release Flick it the opposite direction from where it was at. And then you find your red window again. And advance the film until you get to the next frame. There we go, frame two. This takes eight frames. So you just keep doing that until you've gotten through all eight frames. Through the magic of editing, you open these hatches because it is just too difficult to do it on camera. Pull out the... So let's say you've taken your entire roll of film and you've advanced it the entire way, which I haven't. But you take your entire roll of film, you advance it the entire way, and then when you unload it, simply go to the bottom of the camera. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go and unload your film. So there we go. That is the Kodak Brownie 120, Kodak Brownie Hawkeye 120 Model C. And it doesn't have fancy things like double exposure protection, focus, aperture selection. It is the most basic you can get. Film, lens, shutter, advance. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them if I can. If you have ideas for future videos, let me know. If I have the equipment and technical know-how, I'm more than happy to make them. If this video was helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. That lets me know I'm on the right track and that I'm producing content which is helpful to you guys. If you'd like to subscribe, by all means, uh, click the subscribe button. You'll find out when I have more videos released. And one last thing before we go, thank you guys for watching. Wow. I really did not like this camera at all. Of all the box cameras I've ever used, this was the worst without a close second worst to choose from. The single viewfinder makes landscape photos nearly impossible. And the tiny viewfinder, even after I disassembled it, cleaned the mirror and glass, is effectively useless. And the lens in the one I had, at least, was intolerably soft. 
There are many other and better options for box cameras. This camera has exactly one function. That is to take soft focus, full body shots of people. If you'd like to try a box camera as a usable shooter, this model should absolutely be skipped. This is the camera's film assembly. And so what you do is to load the film, you take a roll of 120 film. This happens to be a roll of, of uh, backing paper. It's not actual film. And you just slide it in. And this takes 120, not 620, which is nice and rare for Kodak. So you put the 120 film in there like that. Oh, it's backwards.